Stu here from Stuart Surfboards. I wanted to talk to you about uh, another board, another great addition to the range, the FX2. Uh, the FX2, as you can see, it's a wide nose, semi-retro nose, and features a really nice round tail. Uh, that round tail, uh, we used to do, we used to feature this model with a swallow tail, but we found that uh, swallows, you know, with that extra bit of width, width here, <laughs> they uh, they used to like slide out a bit. You know, you push them, push them too hard, they slide and let go really easily. Uh, so we did some R and D round tails in uh, in those smaller waves, even in bigger waves, even waves with a little bit of a barrel on them, you can push harder and turn on a much tighter radius and get those really tight arc cutbacks going, get the board placement in the pocket just right, you can stall, get little head dips, mate, and the tail will hold in really well. Um, another additional feature with this model is that it comes with five, uh, five plugs in the bottom of it, so you can ride it as a tri-fin uh, or you can ride it as a four-fin board it's a really great uh, experimental board that you can, you know, really suss out, uh, you know, what the four fin does and what the tri fin does, and and really gives you, you know, a little bit more range with the board and and just makes it more fun. Uh, as you can see, this one features uh, a bit of a tint, uh, green tint, uh, which we uh, do on all the ranges of boards now. Uh, they look unreal. Yeah, a little retro going back to uh, the 60s and 70s and uh, you know sort of makes the board look uh, uh, not age as quickly because uh, those colours don't fade at all. They colour fasted into the resin and uh, they're there for life. Uh, once again uh, it features the uh, single uh, to double concave through the tail. Okay, uh, superior bottom curve you know, all you have to do is just lean forward, get on that on that concave up the front, and the board just accelerates, gets up and goes like nobody's business. Uh, a very neutral board to ride. Um, you can uh, surf these boards a little bit more off the front foot. Uh, very forgiving, won't catch through the through the rail uh, because of that extra volume there. Now with this design, uh, the FX2 is more of your small wave board, uh, let's say one to four foot, you know, predominantly one to three foot butt. It uh, does have it, that ability to surf in a little bit bigger surf butt uh, because of its fantastic wave catching ability. Um, you would normally ride it, uh, once again, uh, three to five inches under your regular length high performance board. Uh, the board is, is much wider across the middle. Uh, this particular board, 510, which is what I ride, uh, is 19 and 3 quarters in the middle uh, and uh, wide across the fin area and very wide across the tail and nose. And uh, yeah, yeah, it has a lot of flotation, good wave catching ability, very manoeuvrable, uh, high performance small wave surfing. The FX2.